Good, hello, feature nugget time. Separating stuff from the lineup to the color art. Up until now, I've just been cutting and pasting them across from one to the other. If you have to do that frame by frame across, the, uh, g good golly, that doesn't seem like a very intuitive method. Fortunately, there are a couple of other ways to do it. The first is I'll open up drawing view so you can see what happens as it happens. Down on color art, it is currently blank. I'll go down to color art, as you can see, it is currently blank. And I'll go back to line art and select this circle. And in tool properties, in the secondary section in operations, in the bottom left, there is this button here with a line, three arrows, another line. It's called create color art from line art. It will take this information and put it down um, to the color art below, but not in a way that seems uh, strictly obvious. I'll press it, it looks like nothing has happened. But now, down in the color art, you'll notice that an invisible stroke has appeared. So this is like a pencil stroke with a thickness level of zero. You know, if I turn strokes off, there is nothing there. If I select it, you can see that there is a, a shape. But it isn't an exact duplicate of what came from above, because this is a brush stroke. It's, you know, it's got its vector information going around the outsides of it. But the color art one, it has the information going via the inside. It's being able to take that brush information and turn it into a stroke for us. So when I fill it, not only does it become filled, but it has treated it like a stroke. That fill information is coming up to halfway inside the line, which is very, very nice. Now doing this for each individual frame, that can, that might take a while. If I have to select it, press the button, move down, fill, blah. Fortunately, there is a way to sort of automate this. Back in tool properties for the black arrow, there is this button, select tool options on the uh, second row, apply to multiple drawings. This allows you to edit the state of more than one drawing at a time. Uh, however, you need to be careful that you select the entire animation at once, right? That means every position that this uh, circle ball thing is going to be, I need to you know select all the way around. The best way to be sure that you're, gonna, that you're pulling this off is to activate the onion skin here, pull the bracket out so we can see the entirety of the animation where it will uh, end up. Make sure this button is still active. I'll select everything that will be contained within there and then press the operations. It has now transferred that across every other frame. If we go down to color art with the stroke tool still turned on, we should see, ah yes, an invisible stroke has been made throughout the entire thing. From here, it should be very easy just to quickly fill each one. Don't have to worry about accidentally going over the lines, but if you're feeling very bold, we can do the same automation method here. With the paint bucket selected inside tool properties, notice it has the same apply to multiple drawings button. So with the onion skin on, on the color art sub layer, I'll select everything. And if it's good, it will do it across all of it. However, it's not that good. <laughs> Uh, but that's that. That's my fault, you know, I drew these very quickly and they don't close in the gaps properly. So have your wits about you, make sure to double check everything, but should be able to save you some time. There is one more method I'll show you in the next nugget of being able to transfer this information automatically as you draw.